Holy sh**, the car looks completely different. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to yet another video. Extremely excited because I'm finally gonna be doing some work to the Miata. I'm gonna be installing some dope ass parts and it's been way too long since I've done anything to the car. Before I get started, I'm gonna show you guys some more of the damage that I found from the uh, previous wreck. If you didn't see the video on that, I'm gonna leave that down below. Now as you can tell, this is the side that had hit the tree and I thought there wasn't that much damage besides the bumper, but come to find out whenever I started messing with the car afterwards, try to mess it with the lights and you can see right here, it's, it's all scraped right here. What had happened was the fender, you might be able to see it right here, it's right here where my finger is, but this piece of metal is folded back and it's jamming up against the plastic cover. And I can't take the plastic cover off because it's stuck, so whether I'm gonna have to break it off or just deal with it. Now, I'm pretty sure that the headlight motor still works, but I just unplugged it because it started to go up and down a lot and I didn't want it to f up or burn out the motor any more than what it already was. So right now, we're running the Wink mod on the Miata. But now, I'm gonna show you guys the parts that I had picked up for the car and it's gonna completely change the way the rear end looks. Now, if you can't tell what any of this is, I picked up a hardtop spoiler, some paint to hopefully match the color of the spoiler I already have, a true focus bash bar, and a scrubbing pad. Look how pretty this thing is, boys. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look how nice these welds are. This thing is freaking beautiful. It's about to make the Miata look so aggressive, dude. I just keep getting more and more excited, guys. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I've recently went to school for uh, welding and it gives me such a huge appreciation for the quality that these guys put into these products. Look at these things. Even if you don't know about welding, you can't tell me that pretty. This is a little side note, but they sent a little uh, package of goodies. Let me see what all is in there. Yo! They sent us some gummies, bro. I found out how to take it off. <laughs> the bash bar on. This is gonna look aggressive as hell. I might not even put the bumper back on, but we'll see. I gotta I gotta see how it looks. But this is sick. Now I need to go ahead and remove the old bash bar rear bumper support, but I wanna get this thing on because I am look at this. Look at this guys. Like this is gonna be sick. This is the first mock-up, guys. Look at this. Guys. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I know people do this to their Miatas like all the time. Like the bash bar is not like the uncommon thing, but like it looks so good on my car. I don't even know how to explain it, but oh my gosh. The bash bar is on, but it is currently 32 degrees outside and I don't know about you guys, but that's motherfucking cold So what I'm gonna do is starting to get dark. I'm gonna finish cleaning everything up I'll get back to you guys once I start painting the hardtop spoiler. All right guys, we are back I'm at my buddy Austin shop right now because it got too damn cold outside and he's nice enough to let me Come here and paint the uh, hardtop spoiler it's sitting over there. This is uh, His NB. He's over there hiding behind the trunk <laughs> No, this thing's clean as hell. He did most of this wrap. I helped him a little bit, but he's put a ton of work into this thing. Anyways, once he gets done, I'm gonna paint the spoiler and yeah. Do what? 
<laughs> yeah, just pull on it, bro. Oh, is the button up? It's what happens. I've pumped with it a while back, so I, it's like a hit or miss. There we go. be honest guys I don't have that much experience with painting but I do know I have to scuff it up before I paint it I went to a uh, local paint shop and they make custom mixed it I got the to choose out a color it was I matched the best I could based on the card to the uh, hard top so hopefully it turns out pretty good it's the black the pearl and the clear all in one it's supposed to be pretty legit shit so we'll see how it goes So it is currently the next day after we had painted the hardtop spoiler and we got it all finished up and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. It's a little orange pilly but it came out of a rattle can. But here it is. You might, I don't know if you can, yeah. You gotta see it in the camera. It's like almost spot on in terms of like matching the uh, hardtop. The hardtop's a little dusty but you can see the sparkle in it. Look at that. That's... That's pretty sick. And for that paint to come out of a uh, $25 rattle can, I'm pretty impressed. It's a little expensive for paint, but that's pretty solid quality. We put about three coats on each side, and now all we gotta do is throw this on, so I'm gonna take it inside where it's actually freaking warm, put some double-sided tape on it, and mount her up. Holy sh**, the car looks completely different. This looks so good. I don't even know what to say. All right, now that we got the car looking pretty damn sick, I'm gonna break down how much I paid for everything because I know there's at least a couple of you that are curious on how much everything cost. To start things off, I picked up the uh, True Focus Bash Bar for $252. I bought this on a, a Black Friday sale. It was 20% off and I got free shipping. The hardtop spoiler, I picked it up off of Facebook Marketplace and I only paid $35 for that. I will find some on eBay or Amazon and leave it in the link down below. As well, I will leave a link to the uh, True Focus Bash Bar so you guys can uh, pick one up if you're interested. And last but not least, I picked up the paint for $28. I got it custom mixed at a uh, local shop where they put it into one can. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want to see the video where I wrecked the car, I'll leave that link down below. If you want to see the 240 Side Hustle series, I'll leave that down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and peace.